What's up guys, Arden here with Yellow House Aerial and today we're talking about the upcoming 9mm lens from Lawa. Overall things are looking great for the first non-DJI lens for the X7. Let's get started. So I asked Lawa to test a copy of their 9mm DL mount lens and kudos to them for getting back to me, but they let me know that it won't be ready probably until early next year. Now I know a lot of Inspire 2 pilots really love the Lawa 7.5mm. It's super wide, super sharp, and people just love it. Um, and the 9mm that's upcoming should bring all the things that we love about this to the X7. So if you're not familiar, the only lenses you can use on the X7 currently are these DL mount lenses from DJI. You have to pay their price, you have to buy their lenses and just stick with them. There's nothing else that's compatible with this. So this new lens from Laowa that's upcoming brings um, a selection really to the X7, which is something that we haven't had so far. And it'll be wider than any lens that you can buy from DJI. Um, and it starts to give you options to buy from other manufacturers. So this 9mm DL mount was announced for Photokina, but this lens has actually been out in the wild for months. This lens was released for Fuji, Canon, and Sony mounts months ago, and overall the reviews are really positive. Overall, as far as I can tell, it's tack sharp, it's super small, but it does have this kind of funny circular round rainbow flare, but then again you're not really using this lens for its flare characteristics. So back to the X5S for a second, this 7.5mm was the most expensive lens really that you could get for the X5S. Um, unless you were spending on something funny, most of the Olympus and Panasonic type uh, prime lenses are pretty cheap. This one came in at the most expensive at about 500 bucks US. Now this upcoming 9mm lens will be probably about the exact same price point, um, which would make it actually remarkably cheaper than the DL mount lenses, which is pretty nice considering we're looking at a much nicer camera, uh, but a lower price point for a great performance lens. So over to tech specs, this is an APS-C lens, which means it's slightly larger coverage than Micro Four Thirds, but not quite full frame. It should be perfect for Super 35. So it's an f2.8, which is just a little bit slower than the 7.5 millimeter, but it's actually wider at 115 degrees diagonal field of view rather than 110. Now, if you're like us and went from the X5S to the X7, what's really neat about those is they're all basically 46 millimeter filter thread sizes. So you can use the same filters on the included Panasonic lens, any of those Olympus M Zuko lenses, and the DJI DL mount lenses because they all have 46 millimeter filter threads. Now, this upcoming lens from Lawa has a 49 millimeter thread. So I would bank on certainly not being able to use a 46 millimeter filter on this with a step down ring because you would definitely see that in the frame. I'm honestly even worried about a 49mm filter. If it's too thick, you'll see it in the edges in the form of vignetting. Compared to DJI's DL mount lenses, the 9mm DL is slightly shorter at 60mm and slightly heavier at 215 grams, so it should balance okay. The lens has a pedal hood just like the Lawa 7.5mm that is removable, and it has what's called a frog eye coating that's supposed to repel dust and water. I haven't heard of this or used it before, I don't believe this lens has it, but overall the reviews are good. We also have to keep in mind that Lawa could release a lightweight version of this lens, slimming down some of the weight with the internals and the shell just like they did with the 7.5mm, dropping a few grams to make it more appropriate for aerial use. So lastly, you'll need somewhere to put these lenses. If you have the X7, you'll have the case for that. If you have the set of DL mount lenses, you'll have the case there. But I would feel the guess that this Laowa lens won't fit into one of those slots. So you might need somewhere in a different Pelican case or a separate case to hold this lens if you're traveling or moving. Just something to think about. So with the X5S and the Laowa 7.5mm, you needed to hot swap this lens onto the X5S, which means boot the camera with the Panasonic 15mm on there and put this lens on while the camera was still running so that it could use the 15mm lens profile. Because there was no lens or lens electronics attached to the X5S when shooting RAW files, sometimes there were issues and you needed to use a DNG cleaner to get rid of some weird artifacts and problems processing in Photoshop or Lightroom. So with this Laowa 9mm being the first non-DJI lens coming to the X7, could you expect similar problems? I went ahead and actually free lensed with the X7. I took the lens off while filming and recording in ProRes and I didn't really have any problems. I took the lens off and snapped a couple stills, brought them into Photoshop and Lightroom and they seemed to process okay. So as it stands, it seems likely that we might even be able to boot up the X7 with the Laowa 9mm on there and be able to film and take photos with no issue, which is really promising. So overall, things are looking really great for this lens and I can't wait to get my hands on it. We'll do a review once we do. So drop us a like down below if you found this useful. Consider subscribing to see what else we're into. As always, thank you for watching. My name is Arden Shidley for Yellow House Aerial, and I will see you in the next video.